Hi guys, my name is Andy Baumgart. I'm the strategy captain uh, for Team 3061 Husky Robotics uh, for the 2020-2021 season. Um, so this is going to be the first installment of a video series provided by the strategy team um, to overview strategy and give new members kind of a, a little bit of a you know basic teaching introduction about our team at Team 3061 and strategy in particular. So this video um, provided by myself as well as Sean Denker, the strategic management lead. Um, it's just going to provide a basic overview of, of Team 3061 in general um, with a slight focus on strategy just to give new members kind of a conception of what they're getting into um, and, and how it might relate if you choose um, choose the strategy branch. So with that, um, I'll start with FIRST. FIRST is the parent organization um, that Team 3061 uh, and robotics teams belong to. So FIRST is actually an acronym. It stands for for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Um, so it's analogous to, you know, if, if we're a football team, right, they're the NFL. Um, so they give us the game, um, the rules, kind of the code of conduct. Uh, they organize our competitions um, as robotics teams. Um, so they're, they're our, our parent organization. Um, overall, there's about 4,000, uh, almost 4,000 registered teams um, competing in FIRST. Um, so they are all across America and throughout the globe. So it's an international organization. Um, FIRST works at the high school level in FRC, um, FIRST Robotics Competition, um, by providing a, a new game in January at an event called Kickoff. So in January, um, early in the month, they'll issue a new game through uh, in the form of a video and a game manual that they publish. And that'll, that'll intro all of these, you know, almost 4,000 teams to the game. And that'll begin a six week build season. So from there we'll have six weeks to design and build a robot that'll compete um, in a competition. So teams compete in regionals that take place across the country um, and the world as well. Uh, so you'll build for six weeks and then try to try to compete in one of those regionals. It ultimately culminates at the high school level um, in the world competition. Um, so after, if you win a regional, um, you'll be granted admission to the world competition. And you'll compete there as well. And then the last thing I just want to touch on real quickly for first is core values. Um, first, I'd like to say it's, it's about more than just robots. Um, they have a number of core values. They include discovery, innovation, fun, uh, and more. So part of being in first, part of being on Team 3061 is growing as a person, you know, growing as an engineer, you know, facilitating your passion um, for engineering or, you know, any, any of the related fields. So it's about more than just, you know, creating, creating a project. So with that, I'm just going to do some, some basic information about our team. So Husky Robotics, you know, is, is a school club. Um, it meets in Naperville North. We take students from Naperville Central as well. Um, we're a community, you know, unit school district, so we're a community unit club. club. Um, but we do meet in Naperville North. Um, the team has over 100 registered members. We have a lot of people, um, a, lot, a lot of moving parts, with uh, a lot of different tasks. Um, so you're going to meet and, you know, become familiar with a lot of people if you choose to join our team. Um, because there's so many people, it's comparable to a small business. Uh, we, we organize the team through sub-teams, you know, essentially groups um, that have very specific tasks. Um, take software, for instance, you know, they're responsible for coding the robot, right? So there'll be a group of people whose, whose job is to work on coding the robot or another group of people whose job is to work on building the robot. You know, we call that team the assembly team. Um, and within sub-teams, we have project management. Because we have so many moving parts, so many different projects, we rely on project managers and a project management structure in order to break down tasks, assign assign tasks, and, and get things done efficiently. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, teams uh, and first compete at regionals. Um, at Husky Robotics, we usually compete in two regionals a year. So after that six-week build season, um, we usually always go to the Midwest Regional, which is in Chicago. Um, and then we usually go to a second regional somewhere else in the country. Uh, we've been to Pittsburgh. We've been places in Arkansas um, in Minnesota before. Uh, we've been to St. Louis, Wisconsin. Um, so we'll, we'll go to, you know, a variety of different places and compete in, in another regional. Um, and then just the last thing I want to touch on in this introduction is that Husker Robotics uh, and FIRST in general, it brings together a wide variety of people with different interests, right? So chances are, you know, if you have a passion for something even closely related to engineering, you know, or, or something like that, we'll, we'll have a place for you, right? So whether it's, you know, building or coding or even, you know, something like graphic design, we have a spot for you and you can actively contribute to our team. Hi guys, I'm Sean, and I'm going to be talking about the team structure. So the first branch of the team we have is the robot branch. And on here we have mechanical, which mechanical is in charge of CADing parts for the robot and designing them. Um, assembly is in charge of putting together the parts that are fabricated for the robot. 
Electrical is in charge of wiring the robot and dealing with all the wired components. CNC fabrication runs the shop bot and the 3D printer to make custom parts that we can't find elsewhere for our robot. Um, machining runs the mills, the lathes, and the drill press, etc. And they make more straightforward parts, such as two by ones out of aluminum. And then software is in charge of programming the robot and commanding it to do the tasks that it's designed to do. Next, we have the strategy branch, which we'll go into more detail on later. But we have strategic management, which is in charge of crafting the overall strategy for the team, as well as planning routes and drive team practice drills. Um, strategic software designs and builds the various scouting apps, such as the um, mat match scouting app, the pit scouting app, and the analysis app. And then Drive Team operates the robot at competition and during testing and practice. And then finally, we have the business branch, in which we have media who take photographs and operate our social media. Um, we have outreach. They plan community outreach events, as well as our FLL tournaments that we host. And then we have awards who um, draft the various essays and applications for awards at competitions such as chairmans. And then next we'll have Andy talk about leadership and project management. All right, so in this last slide, uh, I just, you've learned about, you know, team structure um, for the most part. So I just want to overview kind of the leadership and project management um, that I touched on at the very beginning. So like I said, I'm the strategy captain. So I'm at the very highest level um, kind of of the robotics hierarchy, just of, of the team structure, you're gonna have three branches, right? So you're gonna have the robot branch, um, who concerns yourself with kind of robot production. Um, you're gonna have the strategy branch, um, which concerns yourself with, you know, kind of planning what the robot's supposed to do, um, preparing for, you know, mass strategy come competition. Then you have the business branch, which deals with outreach, um, which deals with chairmen's um, funding, that kind of thing. They have a variety of tasks, our website included. So you're gonna have captains that head each of those, those branches. Um, so that, that's the macro level. Um, then you're going to have a project manager um, who is also a captain. Um, so that person is going to be in charge of coordinating interactions between different sub teams, making sure everything is going to get done on time. Um, so that person is also going to be have a lot of responsibility um, in the team. And then under them, you're going to have feature project managers, which if you think of a robot, right, it, it has different elements or different parts, right? So it might be climbing, you know, that has a climbing mechanism or it might be, you know, kind of the shooter, it, it'll shoot some balls and it'll do something like that in particular or the drivetrain, you know? So you want specific people focused on specific parts of the robot. So under the project manager, you're going to have a bunch of feature project managers and those people usually bridge different sub teams, you know, they coordinate across sub teams, but they're responsible for a different element of the robot.